Now we're going to begin to apply alternate picking to arpeggiation. In particular, paying special attention to allowing certain strings to ring together while damping other strings. Let's check out the song, then we'll do the walkthrough and the advanced concept. So we're in the key of E minor and I'm going to start out arpeggiating the tonic chord, the E minor chord, downstroke on low E, then octave E, up, down on G, up on E. So there's the first four notes, down, up, down, up. The next four notes start on a downstroke on the open G again, and then my second finger is going to rise two frets to play F sharp, and then D, and back to F sharp. This chord implies the D major chord. So we basically have a chord progression, E minor to D major and back. Pay special attention here to damping the sixth string. The low E string is ringing throughout until I get to the D. Now right there, when I came down to fret the D, I touched it in such a way that I'm also with the top of that finger damping and touching the sixth string. So the sixth string will ring all the way until that low D note is played. If you don't do that, you're going to have a lot of tension and, and rumbling in the bottom end here because instead of a clear bass line that's moving, you know, sustaining the E and then hitting D and then back to E, you're going to have the E ringing under the D and it's going to sound messy. But with the string damping, it does that. So there you'll notice the bass line is going to ring. So what we're doing here is we're controlling that bass line so that we only have one bass note at a time that's ringing. And yet, in the top of the chord, we want a lot of additional ringing. We want that G string to ring all the time. You don't ever want to stop that one.